Hi everyone, today we will see a very interesting and a useful tool for our daily use. Yeah, so today I will give you a quick intro to the Llama Cleaner. Using this tool, you can remove objects from photo with a minimum effort flawlessly. This tool uses pre-trained models like OpenCV2, Llama, LDM, ZITS, FCF, MAT, and the popularly known Stable Diffusion. Each pre-trained models perform differently for different types of photos. Let's see how good it is. Open your CMD, then perform pip install llama cleaner. Assume you already have Anaconda installed. There's another option to choose, Windows one-click installer. Then type llama cleaner dash dash model equals to llama, then dash dash device equals to CPU, then the port equals to 8080 and it's done. If you see the progress bar is not moving, then just click the forward or the backward error. This is this is just because uh, sometimes, especially in Windows, we observe. Uh, I don't know, like why it is in wait stays. Why is sometimes it is in the wait stays? Anyway, once it's done, do visit your directory, see users, and the username catch thoughts. You will see all your models are getting downloaded here. Later, if you wish to delete them, you can simply delete them from here. Select the settings. You will see all the options to choose the models. Now, we will use Llama, which works the best as Stable Diffusion. Llama model is efficiently designed to work on most of the devices. Unlike Stable Diffusion, it needs a lot of RAM, GPU, CUDA cores. Now, select the brush, apply it to the areas that you wish to disappear. Click run and wait. Done. Perfect, isn't it? Now, if you want to have additional options like Dream Pump, uh, you can choose the Stable Diffusion. But it does, additionally, in the Stable Diffusion, you can replace the object with another prompt image. Do note that it will freeze your computer. Needs a lot of hardware. The same goes with me with my HP Omen series. It's not enough. You can try that in a server like Kaggle or GCP or Google Collab. Here are the sample results. Pretty impressive. I hope you enjoyed this video. I try to keep it as short and simple. If you enjoyed, stay tuned for more. Good day. See ya.